welcome to another episode of Ryan and Rodrigo. And today we are very uh, lucky to be here with my mom once again, all the way from Canby, Oregon, beautiful Canby. And today we're doing a very fun, very special episode. Um, I, over the break, just moved into a, a nice new apartment here in Villa Mariana for everybody in Sao Paulo. If you know where Villa Mariana is, it's a nice neighborhood and I'm really, really happy to be here. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a virtual tour of my new apartment and compare it to my mom's house, Candy. And we're gonna see all the different um, differences, the things that American houses and, and typical Brazilian apartments have and don't have. And we're going to uh, compare them and, and see the differences and the similarities. And so um, first, let me get up here and I will show you um, here where all of the, the magic happens for all of my classes, my, my office, my workspace here. And so you can see this is uh, our second bedroom. It's nice and big and I can tilt the camera a little bit. You can see this here is a nice big closet. We have a bed here. I can see you. I can see you put a bed there for me. Yeah. Whenever I whenever yeah, I have a fight with Mari or exactly whenever, whenever you're I need to of, crash. Of Mari and Vittorio, you can come and yeah. um, well, Ali and I can come and stay on this bed, and and you can fit on our bed. Yeah, that's. I think that would be better. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, my favorite part about this room is that while I'm working here, while I'm giving classes here, I can look out of my window and, and see a nice tree. I can see some birds. I can see the fresh air. And so that's that's my office. Um, Mom, can you can you show everybody your your workspace, your office? Sure. So um, I'm sitting at my desk here. Um, this is a spare room upstairs that used to be Ryan's sister's. Um, originally when we moved here in 2006, it was his, uh, sister Lily's room. And then when she moved out after graduating from high school and heading off to college, um, Marley moved into this room, her, his younger sister. So it is, um, right now a spare bedroom and also my office. So I'm going to kind of pan around here and show you <clears throat> my desk and a bed. And there is a um, closet there, which you can see the door needs to be on there. But it's a very dark, deep closet. And so the door was just kind of a pain when the girls were here because they couldn't see in there very well. So anyway, this is um, the spare room and my desk. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so one, the, go ahead, Rigo. Go first. <clears throat> Uh, maybe maybe it's the same thing Dif something that's very different and but that's you I think we're going to be able to see that all around the house is that from what I can see that's a carpet right uh, it's a carpeted room so that's yeah. here in Brazil that's we're not big on carpets and also something that's very very different is the closet uh, I every time I watched the movie and I saw a door in the middle of the room and it wasn't for a bathroom. It was just a place, <laughs> but that was like there was no uh, wa wardrobes or cubbies or cabinets or anything. It was just uh, like there a book stand and then and then a door. I said, where, where do they keep their clothes in? And uh, it's a walk. It's not a walk-in closet, but it's a it's another small room inside the room that you can keep your clothes on, right? Yes. Um, and back to the carpet question. So yes, carpet traditionally um, has been very American for years and years and years, but has um, really that trend has changed and more people are going to um, hardwoods um, in the United States or other uh, substances, man-made substances. Um, carpets are really not as popular as they used to be at all. So um, anyway, that is a change. I would really like to pull this carpet up in this room. It's in really bad shape. And um, 
you'll see as we see the rest of the house that uh, the original floor in this hundred year old house is actually fur floors, uh, which is a soft wood. So not ideal, but um, we have redone some of them um, and tried to make them as look as nice as we can. So we are we have slowly been pulling up the carpet and restoring the wood floors. <coughs> nice. Um, yeah, and my my floor here through the entire apartment, you can see some kind of I, I think it's it's not real wood. I think it's some kind of uh, artificial thing, but I'm not entirely sure. No, I think uh, this one, Ryan, because it's yeah. this apart. This is an older apartment, 80s and 90s. This is probably, probably uh, real wood. Oh uh, yeah. It, yeah. This was uh, this was usual uh, back in the 80s and the 90s, and then after that, it just disappeared because it's too expensive in Brazil. Uh, yeah. It's just my some houses, some nicer houses, have those. Hardwood floors with long boards, you know, mm -hmm. longer boards. And this was the name of this is taco uh, in in Portuguese. I, I don't know the name in English, uh, but uh, all the houses I lived when I was a kid had that on the living room and in the, in the rooms inside. Yeah, it's probably wood. Yeah. yeah, everywhere except for the the kitchen has this. Yeah, and the laundry room. Yeah, uh, and the bathroom, of course. Okay. Yeah. The uh, wet rooms, but, uh, right? But the and you'll you'll see this when we go into the bedroom um, in a minute. But this house is kind of weird because it actually has one of those doors that you were talking about into a closet, which is not a typical thing for a Brazilian house. No, so, but it, so uh, in this, a bedroom. Yes, in the bedroom we have this closet, this storage space here. That's very typical Brazilian. That's something that you see in every Brazilian house. But then um, in a minute, when we get into the bedroom, you'll see there is actually a, a closet with a door. And Ryan, one question. Uh, how would you call that uh, piece of furniture? Uh, closet, a wardrobe? Uh, well, because in English schools all around, we learn it as a wardrobe. It's too big. I don't know what to call it because I've never seen a wardrobe this big in the United States. What do you think? I, well, um, I had never seen one until Ikea came to uh, Portland area and they do call it a wardrobe, um, a wall station wardrobe. Um, it's definitely bigger um, than most wooden wardrobes would be called. So, yeah. but, and we, different kinds of closets in this house. So it'll be kind of fun to look at all of them. That's true. Yeah, there are, there's a variety in here too. So it'll be interesting. Um, so the next mom, you have a couple extra bedrooms upstairs that. Correct. Yes. That we don't switch. have here, right? Because, okay. So um, as I'm leaving my um, office spare bedroom, um, we come to a little room that we call the landing room. It's at the top of the stairs and it's just open. It has um, the fur long plank floors that you were talking about, Rodrigo. And um, it's a nice room with lots of windows. And um, the girls used it for a room when they were little. And now it's just kind of a place. <laughs> we don't use it a lot, um, but it, it is a nice little room to have. And then if we move um, to the other side of that, we come to the other what is now the other spare bedroom and uh andy my husband just actually remodeled this room this last summer and um i'll kind of pan around here um to show you what it looks like so um as i walk in um he actually put in this closet which is a typical american closet uh with the sliding doors and um, I don't really want to open my closet door, but anyway, they just slide open like this and you can see what's in there. Um, this bedroom, because of, I can't even explain why, actually has two of those. So um, there's another one there. Um, and then the original closet in this room 
is right here. It's can you see that? Am I getting back far enough? Yeah, I can um, see. It's a little little closet um, that is built into the side um, of the room where the attic would be. Hold on. Um, anyway, it's sorry if I'm making somebody dizzy. Um, didn't think about. Oh, anyway, it's just this this little space, this cute little space, and uh, right now it is filled with toys and blankets. So um, anyway, this and by the way, this room has a little portable crib in it because Ryan's sister Marley has been babysitting a little uh, eight month old at our house a few days a week. So um, anyway, we we had bar the crib. So anyway, so that's that room. Nice. Is that a rocking um, chair? Yes, it's an old rocking chair. It was my grandma's. Mm -hmm. Oh, my and grandma has one too. That's nice. Grandma's old bed that Lily had used for years, but she converted to a queen at her apartment recently. And then this little day bed used to be Marley's. Oh. So. Well. Yeah. Uh, Ryan. Ryan has a bed for me in his apartment. Uh, if, if if I ever visit you guys and I go with Ryan and Ali, would I be able to crash at your place? Would, would, yes. Would there be a bed for me? There are plenty of beds for you guys. In fact, this room would be perfect. Uh, there's a double bed and a single bed. And uh, I hope that you guys will come someday soon. Oh. <laughs> That'd be fun. The, yeah, the nice. offer is always open. <laughs> Great. Rodrigo needs to update his passport, right? It's almost expired. I I guess it is. I guess it is. Yeah. I don't remember. I really don't remember. There oh. is one more room up here. I'll show you really quick. It's a mess. It's my craft room. I do scrapbooking. And so um anyway. It's just a, a little room that actually used to be part of the landing room and the former owners put a wall up um, to make it another small room. So it's not very functional for a bedroom to put a bed in, but there is a, another room there. Okay. That, is, so, that room is uh, bigger than most bedrooms <laughs> in new apartments in Brazil, right? Yes. And that's something I wanted to ask you now before you go, you go downstairs is mm -hmm. so first how many how, how big is your house how many um, um square our feet? house is 2400 square feet okay. on the main floor and the upstairs so just to convert that's about 240 meters for anybody in brazil and is the the upstairs and downstairs are they about the same size or is the upstairs about smaller or the upstairs is a little bit smaller because of the sidewalls from the roof line. And so both sides of the upstairs has the little little pockets. Um, but otherwise it's it's almost as big. Almost mm -hmm. as big. So it would be maybe a thousand upstairs. It would be that probably. much smaller, probably. So a hundred right. meters upstairs is significantly bigger than my entire apartment, which is about mm -hmm. 70 yeah or 700 yeah right <laughs> and now that um we are empty nesters we don't have any more children at home there are you know weeks go by when i never even come upstairs so this space isn't even being used which yeah. seems like a big waste yeah uh, yeah i bet but it's good that marley is using it for her babysitting so that's something yes yes it is it's been nice uh yeah Cool. Well, and I, and I moved my desk up here um, over the break, and so that's been nice, too. Actually, I do come up, and um, I'm at my desk. It's where I usually sit to do Zoom meetings and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so next, let's take a look at the, at the bedrooms. Okay, I'm going to walk downstairs. So there is ugly carpet on my stairs. I guess I don't need to keep the camera on it because it'll just make you dizzy. All right, Ryan, are you going first? 
Yeah, just a second. <laughs> okay, so where'd it go? Here we go. All right, so here is my bedroom. Um, you can see we go around here. There's the bed. Ellie is here taking a nap. <laughs> and here you can see my, my nightstand is in the way, but this is the door that I was talking about. You can open this into a closet that's in the in the wall. Um, oh, no. Uh, that's a built-in wardrobe or something. It's uh, that was common in older apartments. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And and then there's another window here, which again is really my favorite part about this apartment. Are these huge windows. Um, just out here with a tree and this street is is not so busy sometimes it gets a little bit loud when like the the butcher the asogi the butcher over here is getting a delivery then there's a big truck or there's a tire store right here and when they get the truck then it gets a little bit loud but usually the the area is pretty quiet and and so yeah that's my bedroom here and i think it's a pretty i don't know a pretty normal sized bedroom for brazil what do you think Rodrigo? Yes, for for an apartment, it's it's even that one. It's a it's a nice bedroom. Yeah, new apartments have very little. They, new apartments have very big uh, balconies, very big outside areas for a barbecue, a, a barbecue stand or something, and mm -hmm. very small rooms inside. Very small bedrooms, small toilet rooms, bathrooms, yeah. small. Everything. When we, when Small we kitchen. For, for apartments, we found a bunch of new apartments that uh, the bedrooms barely fit beds. Like you would fit mm -hmm. the bed in and you'd have to put it in a corner almost to be able to get to the bed. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, what about um, your, um, your room, Mom? Okay, so um, to the bottom of the stairs and here is um, our room. So there is a closet door there, um, a window, another door to a master bathroom, a very big closet that uh, your dad had put in quite a few years ago. So um, this is our bedroom. It's actually a very, very small master bedroom for American homes. Most um, bedrooms are really big. And um, the bathroom, bathrooms even in most American homes in the master bathroom are pretty nice. And this one is very tiny. Uh, again, this is a hundred year old house. So we, you know, had to make do with what we had. And um, so that is, is the small bathroom there. Um, any questions, Ryan? Um, and dad, dad built that bathroom, right? Correct. Yes. So it, it, there, it was the bathroom was in the same space, but the access was from the kitchen room. Um, and it was very awkward and we had to get up and walk a long ways to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. It was the only bathroom in this big house, which was odd to us as Americans. Um, again, it was because it was so old. And uh, so quite a few years ago, we totally changed the bathroom, in fact, enough that it switched where the shower and the sink was. The toilet stayed in the same place, and we made the access door from our bedroom instead of the kitchen. And you built another little... We built a powder, right? Right, a powder room for guests. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice. Um, and you were saying that your... Your bedroom is small for Americans, mm -hmm. but it looked like from <laughs> from the camera, from what I saw, that your bedroom and my bedroom are only a little bit. I think yours is bigger than mine, but only a little bit, don't you think? Oh, all of a sudden, I'm not. OK. Um, yeah, probably. I mean, that's a queen size bed. 
Um, I think part of the problem with this room is there's so many doors. Yeah. Um, small room. And there actually used to be another door uh, where the closet was. A door came out into our dining room. So um, it was it was a very odd bedroom. And originally in this house, this room was the kitchen. So yeah. if you go way back, uh, which we figured out because we found the wood stove pipe um, uh, chimney when we were doing some remodeling. Wow. Oh. You guys have done so much remodeling on the house. You're almost like a HGTV advertiser. <laughs> almost, yeah. <laughs> um, and can you can you show the closets again? Oh yeah. You don't so have to this, look inside. Just show. Oh no, that's okay. This is the closet that was here originally. Um, the it was the only closet here, and it's. I mean, big, it, you it's a know, walk-in closet. Well, I don't. I wouldn't call it big walk-in compared to what I think is a big walk-in, but um, it's it's sufficient. And we, you know, Dad and I lived with this closet only for a few years until we remodeled. Actually, quite a few years um, until we remodeled, and then Dad put in this closet, which is like the one upstairs. So um, that's one side open. Um, it's actually quite large. That's your dad's closet. But he actually gets the bigger closet out of the deal because it's his side of the bed. <laughs> he, he does let me use some of the storage, though. Oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah. So, so in our apartment, this, this closet that I showed you before, the one that's not in our bedroom, the one that's in the... <laughs> This big one that was in the second bedroom with my office here. Yeah. Um, this one has all of our stuff. So when we want to get like clothes, like here, all of my clothes, yeah, we have to come out of our bedroom and come to the other room to get anything. None of our clothes. You have the same, you have the same shirts as Andrew. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I was just joking with him. A couple of days ago that I'm slowly transforming into him. So that's not a yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I would say that that's also pretty normal for Brazil is that you don't really have to, one room is you you sleep there and another room you can store things. But having the ability to sleep and store things in the same room is kind of difficult sometimes. Do you think, Rodrigo, do you think that's true? Um, like, how do you do yes. it in your apartment? Oh, uh, man. I, um, um, how can I say? I try to, here in Brazil, we have, we have, uh, we don't have a lot of space for, you know, especially in apartments. So we keep things, Everywhere and anywhere, we try to organize, you know. So <laughs> we, we, how can I say? It's like a, it's like a puzzle. Yeah. You know, it's like a puzzle. Some days, some things are here, and then I'll, I'll have a better idea, and then I move them. So, um, we 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 try to make do with the space we have. Just try not to put your underwear in the kitchen. That's the nah. try. Yeah. Try. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do? But... Well, what's really Nothing. sad is that we do the same thing, but it's because we just have too much stuff. So, <laughs> obviously, it's not about the space at the house. It's that I have too much stuff. Wait till you see the basement. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, but... stay, stay there just for a second and go to the bathroom, and we'll compare our bathroom oh, okay. real quick. Um, because there is one thing that's really different. Oh, there's a light. Um, so here's my bathroom. And my bedroom is right here, so we have to come across. And this is like the main bathroom for the apartment. And it's here. 
and the one thing that's that's very different is the shower. This is actually a pretty big shower for <laughs> for Brazil. But this shower yeah. up here, um, it doesn't come from a hot water heater. No. Um, so in the United States, at least every every house I've ever been in, you have a, a tank that's full of hot water. And then you have like, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes to take a shower. And then your hot water is gone. Or if you have four people in the house, then each of them get to take a five minute shower or they have to take them at different times. But here you can just turn the hot water on all day and it never runs out. Your electricity bill is really high, but. Yeah, but now in new apartments, you have gas heat, gas heating. So uh, now you have the gas bill, which is much cheaper than the electricity. Then you have can you, and you can have very hot, nice, strong water all day long, anytime you want. So that's that's nice. New apartments are that is better. That is much and is better. And is that a gas water heater? Sorry. Or is it, um, so is the hot water from a gas water heater, or is that still the same with the electric instant hot? No, there's a gas water heater in, usually that's usually in, a, in our laundry room okay that you have to, to well okay. the one I, I i lived in an apartment that i had to turn it on every every time i um i had to use it but the new ones are electric so you just electronic so you just turn the the, the shower on and they and they turn it on uh but there's it's not a tank the water goes okay. through that all the time and it okay and it and it, it heats the water. Yeah, and I'll show you the tank when we get to the basement on ours. And uh, the, the shower here is really big, <laughs> in, my, in my opinion, for showers in, in Brazil. I think it's even bigger than your shower, from what I could see, Mom. Oh, we don't, we don't have a big shower here at all. Uh, yeah. Let me switch back. Um, so this is a shower curtain, um, which... It, because this shower actually is so small, we couldn't do a door that opened because it would get in the way and we couldn't do a sliding door because there wasn't enough room to slide it and then still get in. So um, this is our shower. Oh, it's fiberglass. It's a two piece with the seam, um, but by it's it's actually very small. Um, yeah. Because this room is really small, we just didn't have the room something. To... Um, something that's different in in our uh, bathrooms. Two things that are different. Usually in America, there are uh, uh, there's a bathtub, uh, and well, not I don't know if it's everywhere, but it's much, much, much more common than in Brazil. In Brazil, it's not common at all, uh, even for nice bigger apartments um, and also one thing that is a detail um, a logistic detail is when you go well we keep a basket a trash can a, a, a rubbish bin whatever beside the toilet for for toilet paper and um, I heard that in America, you just throw all the toilet paper in the toilet and just flush it, right? American Correct. people, when they come here, they they find that disgusting. They're like, why, why do you keep the dirty paper there for a whole day? And so that's very different. Yeah, that's one of the uh, nice things about coming home after visiting is being able to flush toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as we hit American or Canadian soil. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's head out into the, the living room. And on the way, I can show you this other closet that we have. Um, it's also inset into the wall. And 
and you see there's the doors and it opens up into this huge space man it, it this uh this room this is a big room right because it's i can hear echoing your voice yeah. echoing. The, the living room here is off to the left and it echoes yeah but this closet is huge and it's very not typical i would say can you get up no sorry no today so ryan <laughs> now my box of belongings that I left at your house can get bigger. Yes. <laughs> Ow. Ow. When we left last time, I think it was a box. It was a very small box. Because my old apartment had absolutely no storage whatsoever. <laughs> and all right, so here is my, my living room, which is right next to that closet. And we don't have any furniture right now. We have these two little cheap chairs. Um, today, we actually went to a furniture outlet to try to find some furniture, but couldn't find anything nice. And this living space is really big. I like it a lot. Yeah, and really, really nice. Um, I'll give you a view from this side. This is the front door. So if you open the front door and come in, this is what you, you see. And you come in. There's a hallway, right? A tiny, tiny, like an entryway hallway. It's not a, yeah. it's a small hallway. Kind of a place like to put your shoes, you know. Nice. And then this living space is really nice and big. And we have our table here. And our plan is to put like a, a sofa, a couch over here with like a coffee table for the TV. And that's the living room. All right, that's nice. Okay, you want to see my living room? Let's see. So, um, I at the bottom of the stairs, um, this is what we run into. First of all, your dad's Schwinn um, bicycle, Schwinn Airdyne, I guess it is. Exercise bike is right there because there's really not another good place to Put it and he likes to ride it in the evening while he's watching trailblazer games or the news so um anyway this is our living room it's actually um pretty big uh houses this old actually had strange rooms this is not real typical for homes today it has like small sitting areas so this room actually isn't all that big to put furniture and then there's another sitting area over there on the other side of the front door uh, where we have Marley's uh, baby grand piano so um, I don't know you, usually this space would be bigger uh, not here I'll get on the other side so this would be um, the view from the opposite side of the room um, I just get frustrated with this room because there's, it's not big enough to put an L shape sitting area so people can sit and visit and then you know of course you have to have the furniture in such a way you can see the tv so anyway this is our living room yeah i mean i have the same problem here mom if you look at mine where Allie and i are kind of arguing a yep. little bit about what to do with this corner because we could put an l-shaped couch up in that corner right but then where to put the TV, because mm -hmm. over on this side, you can't really put a TV on this wall. <laughs> and so we really want an L-shaped couch so that people, like you said, can visit with each other, can talk to each other. But then what? It's hard. It's, it's weird to mm -hmm. put. We could put the L coming out like, like this way, but then it would kind of block the walkway. And so mm -hmm. Wait, you, you can just use uh, armchairs. It's yeah. a couch and armchairs. Yeah, that's I think what we're going to do, but it's it's not decided yet. And we don't really we're not really sure what's best. It's hard to make the space fit exactly what we want. Um, who plays the piano, uh, Marley? Marley plays the piano. Lily played for a few years as well, but then when she uh, got really um, 
interested more in playing her flute. So mm -hmm. she played the, her flute all the way through high school. Uh, and Marley uh, stayed with piano. She accompanied for the high school choirs and um, yeah. So we brought her a grand piano because Andy uh, had always, or not a grand, a baby grand, because Andy always wanted one. So we came across to use one a few years ago. It's, it's been fun to have, but it does take a lot of space. And I bet most people in Brazil do not have any kind of piano in their homes. No, no. It's really beautiful, though. So that's something. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's really yeah. nice. Yeah. And then over onto the left there is the dining area, right? Yep. Then, uh, yes, there's the dining area. Uh, again, see our see the floors? They actually um, cleaned up pretty nice, although there's a lot of bad places in them that we, um, anyway, <laughs> like I said, fur floors are really hard to, to sand down because they're so soft that you can ruin them easily. <laughs> So we didn't go to a lot of work trying to fix any really bad spots, um, but I do like having um, those floors instead of all carpet that is hard to keep clean. What is um, like some of the pros and cons of carpet? Because it's not so popular here. So many people don't know, like, why would you get carpet or why would you get rid of carpet? What what would you say? It's, it's warm. <laughs> I mean, we have... <laughs> We have seasons here, and right now we're in winter, and we've had a lot of below freezing weather. And um, if you don't have a basement, especially, um, the floors are really, really cold, and a lot of cold air comes up from under the house. So um, I believe, you know, I, I don't know what started the trend, probably in the 50s. Um, and a lot of houses that were not as old as this, but older houses that had great wood floors, everybody just covered with carpet. And so now everybody's ripping the carpet up and, um, or they're not starting with carpet. Maybe one room in the house where the children play a lot. It is nice. Um, you know, having a baby in the house that's crawling, I'm realizing her little knees are all red <laughs> from crawling around on our hard floors. Uh, so I, I think there's a lot of good reasons, but it's um, they are hard to keep clean and they hold on to a lot of dust and pet hair that's hard to get up. Something something I noticed uh, looking looking at uh, American houses is that, for example, where you are, Brenda, uh, mm -hmm. I maybe most of the north uh the houses are hardwood that they have hardwood floor but then in florida they have ceramic floors you know like uh, uh tiles or right it's, it's different it's not hardwood in in hotter places they don't have hardwood or carpeting uh, or, or humid i would say humid places humid the, yes the, yes the wood just wouldn't last Right, yes, right, because it expands exactly. and and um, contracts, and if it gets wet, it, it is just ruined. It's yeah. nothing to do about it. Um, Plus, I bet Florida has a bunch of like uh, termites, things that yeah. don't really exist in. I mean, I'm sure there are termites in Oregon, but not like in Florida. Right. Yes. Exactly. Which is something that, that I've actually had trouble with. At the old apartment, we had to replace our front door twice, I think, because it got ruined by termites. Wow. So it's a, it's, a, it's a reason not to have hardwood around here. Something else I've noticed uh, it's different. Uh, I saw upstairs I saw, uh, in, in that room uh you you guys don't use it anymore in that open room i saw you have a i don't know if it if that's a hoyo uh, an, uh, an oil heater but it's a, a heater and we don't have heaters around here when it's cold we just feel cold uh we don't have air conditioning or heating it's just feel cold and we feel we have fans usually right um so heaters right. are big in america right 
We have central heating in this house that heats and cools the main floor. But when we moved into this house, there it w there was no um, what do you call it way to get the heat upstairs. So we added that we have a friend who owns a heating and cooling business, and we added that the furnace size doesn't support the whole house, so it just really can't work hard enough to get the heat upstairs. So that really was kind of for nothing. And so the rooms upstairs, we have to use portable heaters, but it does get very, very cold. So um, it would be really hard uh, to not have heat here in Oregon. And we're pretty moderate for the most of the United States. I mean, well, I shouldn't say it's not in the South, but um, this part of Oregon is very moderate. Yeah, but even if you just go an hour, in mm -hmm. east it gets very cold right. yes so you guys yeah, are we're, we're at the beach where it's damp and cool all the time it just you know when it's damp and cold it feels even worse so uh, almost all homes uh, all homes have some kind of heat um, most homes have full air with ducting throughout the house to get the heat to different rooms um, some, you know, have different heating systems in each room, um, but all, all homes here have heat. And, you know, most homes, at least people that we know, also have air conditioning. So. Do you guys have central air conditioning too? We do. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Um, all right. So now the, the kitchen? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, here is my kitchen, and you come in, and here is the stove, which is definitely a weird thing that I'll explain in just a second. But you can see the kitchen here, and uh, this is a pretty, I think, a pretty big kitchen for a, for a Brazilian apartment. Um, you really have a lot of space to move around. And it even has another one of those little closets here, pantry full of all of my food and more storage up here for pots and pans. And Ali's dad is actually making us another one of these um, cabinet things that I can open right here for more stuff. And the explanation of why this stove oven is over here, which is totally weird because it blocks your, your way to walk back to the, the back part here, is that originally, I think that this, this apartment was built in a totally different way or set up, and that the oven was over here. There's a, there's a hookup in here for, for gas, and they probably had the oven in this corner, um, which makes more sense but then they wanted to install the, the pantry there. And so they, they reconfigured everything and the only place available to put the oven was over here. And so Ryan, they moved the, uh, the gas, the gas comes from the street. Uh, yeah. You mean, so I, don't, that, I, don't that, a, I don't have a, I don't a have tank. a tank of gas every month. It comes from the street. Yeah. So that's that may be another explanation because uh, when they had to because this apartment is older, so they definitely had the tanks, and it was probably where the pantry is. Yeah. And and then when they had to get it from the street, I think that was the easiest way or the only possible way to get it up. Yeah, uh, that could be. But I remember seeing. Uh, yeah, that could be also. Because you see here, there's like a an improvised hookup. It was not designed yes. to be here. They definitely no, put no. it there as an afterthought in some way. Now, whether it was yes. because they switched to having the gas be from the street or they wanted to reconfigure it to install the, the cupboard, I don't know. But that's why the oven is here. And uh, it really annoys Ali's dad. <laughs> He's... He, he doesn't like it there. It's wrong and he wants us to move it, but 
What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what about your kitchen, Mom? Okay, so um, let me switch this back. So I'll walk through the dining room here. And um, this, this house is really not good for this podcast because this house is not very typical um, of American homes because it is so old and has been improvised uh, many times over the years. This used to be, uh, in the original house, a sunroom you know, with like a gravel floor. Um, and that there was a, a door over here on the right. And I'm not quite sure at what point it, it kind of changed. This house also didn't originally did not have indoor plumbing. Um, so uh, anyway, so if I come in from the dining room, there is this little part of this room. It's actually not that little, all these beautiful windows. And um, then um, to the right and then to the left is our when uh so you said that the house, this part of the house originally was a sunroom which means it's kind of like half inside half outside right it had a gravel floor and it was not exactly inside the more or less right right so when did they switch when did they when did this get renovated into a kitchen do you know what year? Sure. right when we bought this house the people who had it before had bought it in 1975 and at that time there was a little bathroom right there under, like where the tv is a very little bathroom and the kitchen was here where it is but they totally remodeled it um, and then again like i said before that the kitchen if i swing around was um behind this wall which is now that bathroom and our bedroom so I I can't quite figure out what, you know what stages what happened, um, but this was a sunroom. Um, I think that's why it has the beautiful window. Once I, it, I know that there was a door there, so um, I'm not quite sure what it used to look like, but I'm sure it had a lot of windows in the sunroom. Um, windows are so beautiful. That's a yes, very, yes. very cool feature for that house. Just um, one thing I like to ask a sun, a sunroom. Uh, I saw I I usually see that in in movies uh, where they they are at old houses. Uh, it's like it's like a porch, but it's kind of closed. It's it's not in. It's like a front porch. Correct. It's usually on the okay okay yeah that's nice so here i'm sitting on i'm standing on the other side the opposite side of the room and we have just used this this part of the kitchen room for a little sitting area um and then again here is the kitchen um, we used to have um for years a round t uh, table so we could eat in here and I don't know, Lily took it a couple of years ago and we had another table in here. So this is where the family used to actually eat most of our meals and the other table was only for um, company or when we had special meals or whatever. And right now there's not a table in here, but we are getting ready to do a little bit of a remodel project and we're gonna move the dining room table into this room and move the piano back into the dining room. So we are getting ready to change um, this is linoleum floor in this room. It is very uh, dirty. <laughs> um, it was here when we moved in 14 years ago, 15, 14, 16 years ago. I don't know. Anyway, 14. And um, I'm looking forward to replacing it with something I believe that looks a little bit more like stone or slate is what I'm looking at. Um, linoleum. Uh, the just reminds me of the 90s for some reason. It has that, <laughs> right? Yes. It's yes. a very 90s thing, linoleum. Um, and 80s and set, set. Yeah. Exactly. But it feels like as soon as I got out of high school, linoleum died. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So again, there's a high chair in this room because of Marley's little, little gal here. Um, and again, anyway, it's an odd room. Uh, again, I wish it was a little wider uh, so we could actually do something with that space, but it isn't. 
the other thing that this uh, kitchen has are a tile countertop, which was very nice, um, 80s and 90s, and um, I hate it and am very much looking forward to replacing it with uh, something new. It won't be marble, um, but if you want to marble, maybe something. Yeah. Yeah. I think Filestone is what um, I'm looking at replacing it with. Nice. Uh, so, so the biggest difference that's jumping out to me other than the, the size, of course, mm -hmm. is how open the kitchen is. Mm -hmm. And um, here in Brazil, the, this, the style of having an open concept kitchen is just called an American kitchen. That's how, yeah. how representative of of the style is for Brazilians is that if you want, if you talk to an architect and you say, ah, I want an open kitchen, you just have to say, I want an American kitchen and they know what you mean. And you and this, the American kitchen. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Brian. Well, this is, this is an open kitchen and that there is a sitting area here. Um, that's not all that useful, but there is, but yeah, most homes today, the kitchen is open to what would be called a family room or a great room where you have a big area with um, maybe a dining room table or a breakfast nook, something that um, countertop that can be eaten out. They might have another dining room as well, may not, um, but it's usually open to a big area where the family usually spends most of their time with the TV and all of that. And that's very, very popular. It's what most people want these days. They don't want to be, you know, they want to be able to see their kids playing uh, or, you know, while the wife's cooking, you know, be in the same room as, um, or I shouldn't say wife, wife or husband, whoever is cooking, could be in the same room uh, with, you know, the other people in the family and not isolated. Yeah, um, that's even, Something uh, like here, we uh, uh, this wall. I mean, someday. Right now, we're only um, renting the apartment, but someday, if we ever end up buying it, we might look into doing something with this wall to open it. Maybe not totally rip it out, but even just put in a like a pass through or something to. To make it right. Open. Yeah. Do you remember my apartment? There's a pass through. It's not. Yeah. It's not. Uh, the, I like that very much. It gives. It gives us a. a I don't know a different feel. It, it. It feels bigger. And I have a. Uh, one of my friends lives. They, they. He lives in the same building, and they just took off the the whole wall. It's just. Oh yeah. Open. It's just a big room with the kitchen and a. A counter and then a living room. It's really nice. Yeah, but I don't know if this wall is like structural. Is <laughs> the problem? If it's look bearing, yeah. Yeah, uh, so that would be more complicated. But we'll see. I mean, who knows for the future? Yeah, I noticed um, some of the things uh, different, but in a Brazilian kitchen, and actually very also. Europe when I watch you know remodeling shows and um, those kind of things is Americans have huge kitchens and huge. we have a lot huge, huge kitchens huge. that's something that it Allie is always blown away by even you know she's been watching those remodeling shows for years and mm -hmm. she's still just amazed at these people complaining about their tiny kitchen I can't survive in mm -hmm. my tiny kitchen and is like what are you talking about woman your kitchen is huge. <laughs> well, and what um, what we also have and need, <laughs> I need, is all the counter space. Like I don't, I don't know yeah. how you or Ali's mom puts such a big meal out. Although you do have outdoor space that you use, um, which we don't necessarily. Um, but how you can cook a meal with all those foods and not have all this counter space. Cause when I'm cooking a meal, I got every little area here covered with something, not to mention just all the junk that I have. So we we'll use the very sink. delicate we use, planning. We use the sink. <laughs> you have to cook something and then 
stop and clean and then and then keep cooking. It's the only way. Yeah. And you have um, to think ahead. It... You have to think very clearly ahead. Like, okay, I need to make rice and beans and chicken and the vegetable and the salad. So what first? What can I what should I do first to be able to accomplish this plan? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we, we like our kitchens. <laughs> yeah, and everybody else wants one, so they must be nice. It is very nice, yes. Uh, okay, so the, the next thing, and this is something that's pretty different. I'm going to show you the laundry room here. Um, and this is something, because it's a, a very old apartment. Just a sec. Um, this, the sink which isn't even really called a sink. There's another word for it in Portuguese. What is it, Rodrigo? What is this called? A tank. It's called a tank. A tank. Thank you. Yes. Talk yeah. About tank. Yeah. Um, is in old apartments because you can see here it's actually a washboard. And yes. It was put in apartments before people even had um, washing machines, which I have here. And I have a whole like laundry room back here but um uh, now even in new was probably what's that sorry um even in new apartments every apartment in brazil even new ones have a washing board sink every yeah. apartment yeah but this extra room here is only in older apartments right yes yeah and also this weird bathroom it, see that space um it was i have the same in my apartment because my apartment is probably it's just weird for me i don't know what to do with it and it's strange i don't know <laughs> so my um th this whole space was used for uh for um housemates they used to sleep over uh like and back there here, was a room. They would have a bed yes. and uh, some space to keep some of their, their private stuff. And the maid would sleep back here. Yes, yes. Yeah. Is that why this this little bathroom, it looks like it has a, a hookup for a shower? Shower, yes, exactly. Uh, uh, just like we have just like you have in, in most buildings, you have a service elevator and a uh a, a social elevator uh that's the service uh part of the apartment you know the um, uh, the people that worked for you they were they usually used that part they didn't that was to separate you know interesting interesting um and the other interesting part is this clothes hanger thing which is also in every brazilian apartment and um, recently, our electricity bill went up dramatically, um, probably because they they changed the, the rate because the reservoir is so low and they want us to all conserve energy to conserve water. And so our electricity bill last month was really high. And so now we're not using the dryer at all. We're using the clothesline which every apartment has, and we use it normally. We use it every month for heavy things like jeans and towels, but now we're using it for all kinds, for every single thing. Um, and it's something that Americans don't usually do, right, Mom? No, and definitely not indoors. You know, my grandmother had a clothesline outside, um, but again, you know, they were on a farm and they had lots of land. Um, and most houses that I'd been in, um, had a clothesline outside even the last house i was on i never used it um but i was just wondering so hanging your clothes up doesn't it make it even more humid in your house having all that wet clothing yeah but it's not so humid you know plus mm -hmm. we have the we have fans mm -hmm. i have two of those there's one in this room and one in my office room and this apartment is very breezy. Um, the wind flows directly through from one side to the other all day. As long as we keep the windows open, it's very, very nice. 
Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, something I got to say, like, for example, I heard you guys talk about how damn it is uh, and how humid or how dry. Here in Brazil, I don't know, I don't know, Ryan, if you, if you ever talked about this to anyone, but uh, we never, ever think about how humid or damp or dry. This is something that we don't, I don't know why, but this is something we don't usually think about here in Brazil. We never talk about or think about it. it it's usually, oh, it's hot or it's cold. Uh, so we, we don't have that. Um, uh, some things are are different in uh, different places. We, we don't usually think about that. I don't know why, because it's important, especially if you have uh, allergies or uh, breathing problems like I did when I was a child. And my mom always went to the, always took me to the doctor and they never talked about this. Oh, do you know if the house is humid? Do you know if the house, they never talked about this. It, it's just uh, clean your house and take the medicine. It's not something we, we worry about. It's, it's weird. And the, the allergies that you're talking about, um, mom, if you go downstairs, to the to the basement um the humidity can actually be a huge problem because because <laughs> you can get lots of mold mm -hmm. in a humid place right uh, i haven't yeah we're seen it here ever at least in this apartment or the other apartment oh yeah in the bathroom sometimes i saw it and we had to clean the the ceiling and the walls of some mold that's where i've seen it the rest of the apartment, I've never had that that problem because it tends to circulate air a lot. But in the bathroom, yeah. it can get it can get bad here. Um, and I don't know what humidity level is. Ours is high, but not as high as like places in the south can be. Um, but you can drive two hours to eastern Oregon, and the humidity is very very low. Um, so there's really not yeah, we, we can't really change our humidity here. Um, when I was a kid, we lived um, east, eastern Washington, and it was pretty dry. And so um, in the wintertime, when it was so dry, our parents would have humidifiers going in our bedrooms, which, you know, put air, um, especially if we were sick, to kind of break up coughing. Um, I don't see those so much anymore, and they don't even make sense to me living here in the Willamette Valley because we're already so humid. Why would you want to make it more humid? Um, but we're damp here, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, you saw all of my apartment. Um, I saw most of yours. Do you have any more questions or anything else that you noticed was different, Rodrigo or, or Mom? No, I can show you real just really quick. I will change the camera here and show you um, the back door. Okay. And we have like a back porch, which is a mess. I've got piles of stuff getting ready to uh, be given away. Um, so that door would go on outside um, to a separate garage um, and our driveway, or we can go down the steps to the dark unfinished basement that has um, our washer and dryer. Uh, it has a pantry room back there with a bunch of shelves that I have extra kitchen stuff because I have so much stuff and uh, as well as grape juice and salsa and other things, peaches that I can. Um, this is a bunch of junk that is down here. Um, an extra refrigerator that's mostly used for beverages, mostly beer, um, and a huge freezer um, so we can buy bulk items. And then I'll show you real quick since we talked about it. Um, oh, it's too dark. I can well, see. Okay, can you can turn the light. Um, yeah, that's good. Anyway, there, there's hot water here, and it is gas. Um, so it heats all the water in that tank and we use it. And then if we use too much, then we don't have hot water for a little while until it reheats. Yeah. Um, like about how long, about how many, about how much hot water do you have? 
I don't know. Like if you put um, it on sour, how long until you run out? Oh, well, your dad takes longer showers than I do. And we and we usually like take back to back showers and we never run out of hot water. So I probably take a seven to 10 minute shower, maybe at the most. And dad takes like 10 to 15. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, if we had ran the dishwasher or um, had been doing laundry or something like that, we would probably run out when both of us took a shower. Oh. And then, I remember um, when I was young and there were us and, and Lily, um, mm -hmm. sometimes we would run out if everybody wanted mm -hmm. to take a shower at the same time. Right. Uh, and I wanted, also just wanted to show you out our front door. Um, so this would be our uh, we have front porch. But anyway, this is um, our neighborhood. Oh, Jesus. And everything's kind of um, dull right now because it's middle of winter so uh, there's no pretty flowers or uh, anything like that um, that's a huge house that's kind of catty corner from ours that house Another, is about the same age as yours right it is about the same age as ours it's a historic house it's much bigger it has a third floor um, and uh Another fairly big house on the side there. And then this is the front of our house. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Oh. So that's our house. And uh, when I come down to Brazil, I feel, I don't know that I feel fortunate that I have a big house. I feel like I have too much, <laughs> um, you know, it's just such a different lifestyle and we have the land, uh, our population, at least here in Oregon, isn't you know, really high. We don't live in an urban area, although we're very close to an urban area. So we have access to all of those things. Um, yeah. But I, you know, Especially since visiting Brazil so many times, I really have been down. <laughs> yeah, but if you but if you think about uh, Ryan and I, for Brazilian standards, have a lot. Right. Uh, so yeah, so I think it's just the way it is in um, in every place, and uh, it depends on our background and, and all that. So. Uh, something, something that's, I, I remember one day I asked Ryan, he was, at, I still lived with my mom and he was, uh, over at my place and I asked him, and there were a bunch of, uh, new buildings. They were, they were, uh, putting up some buildings and I asked Ryan, why are all houses or most houses in America made of wood? And in Brazil, it's all made of um, just concrete. And we, we don't have, maybe in the south, in the south, we have more wooden yeah, houses. Yeah, when I went to the south, when I went to Blumenau, there were many more houses uh, made of wood there. It was very yeah. different. So uh, we, 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 don't, we don't use a lot of wood here in Brazil. It's, it's uh, strange. Mm. Yeah, that is interesting. And it has nothing to do with the age of the, the city, right? Because even yeah. old, old, no, yeah, uh, even old houses, right? Even old houses. Hmm. Well, it would have to do with, well, I guess, you know, timber was plentiful here, <laughs> very <laughs> yeah. in Oregon, yeah. So, but you know, I would, I just wanted to say, you know, the more stuff we have in the bigger house and the bigger piece of land that we have, in fact, I didn't even show you, we have almost another whole lot behind us that we own. Um, but we just become a slave to our stuff. And, uh, you know, you guys live a little more simple and, um, doesn't take you, you know, three days to get your house cleaned up. And, um, you know, we just, it's, it's constant taking care of all the stuff we have. 
So. Yeah, I mean, uh, this new this new apartment is a little bit bigger than my other one, which is nice in some ways, especially now that I have to work at home. Um, and so it's good to have space for my, my office at home. But the, the last place, which was only 50 meters or 500 square feet, I, I think that that is very, it's a very good space for, for two people. Um, I mean, I know when you came, it was too small to have you guys stay with us. It's too small to have an office. It's too small for a lot of things. But if you just have two people trying to to live in a space, I don't think you really need more. You need than much, that. much more than that. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you work out in an office, if you if you have an office space outside, if you if you just in and and that's what usually new couples uh, do. They they are in to sleep to just to spend the night and then they go back to work and even on weekends they travel or they go out so. The apartment is mostly to stay in uh, at, at night. When yeah. you do have a family, it's different. And and this place is a little bit bigger, like uh, now, especially because of Corona, we're not using the extra space. We have that whole huge living room, and we can't have people come over to visit us. Um, we have the the bigger kitchen, but. Again, we can't. I can't cook for anyone. I can't make a meal for people. So, yeah, it's nice to have this extra space because now I have an office and that's wonderful. And it'll be nice when you can come visit me. That'll be great. But, um, yeah, the extra space is kind of wasted at the moment. And I'm sure that we'll find a way to fill it with a bunch of junk. <laughs> that's the problem. A box of Velveeta. Yeah. <laughs> Liquid gold. So. Liquid gold, yes. Cool. You know, don't ever really eat liquid gold because liquid gold is a <coughs> furniture polish. Yeah. Plus, I can't eat it anymore because I'm too allergic to the dairy. But... Oh, well. Yeah. But then there's no dairy in Velveeta. It's just there's it's very, <laughs> very little dairy. Yeah. <laughs> it's just uh, I, I I guess Bovida is just like they were trying to make plastic or something, and then in the middle they got to Bovida, and well, let's make it taste like cheese. <laughs> but yeah. still, the only mac and cheese I make it's when when you bring me Bovida because. All the others are not fun. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, yeah, so I think that's it then, unless you guys have another question or anything else. Hey, Ryan, your walls, are they concrete? Yeah, everything's concrete here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's Which something, very, something. Very yeah, only like very, very new buildings um mm -hmm. commercial buildings very new commercial buildings they use the glass and steel um and maybe in some very very upscale constructions in sao paulo that are new then you get some residential glass and steel maybe. so they don't use drywall at all no only no. I, we had drywall at the school because we didn't have any money so, so we put up drywall to separate a space because we we didn't want to pay someone to actually separate the space. Okay. And something something I remember when I watched movies and I saw, for example, a guy punching a wall and going through, and a hand went through the wall, and I said, "How strong is that?" My like, Jesus Christ! That was, and and then I when when I got older, I understood it was drywall. Uh, so it's, or when I, for example, when I watched the, the twins renovating houses, I forgot their names, uh, mm -hmm. Canadian twins, they, right. uh, oh, they like, they, they, they renovate the whole house in a week or two and Brazilian people watch them and they're like, how, oh, how can they do that? But it's like inside the house, it's, it's all drywall. 
So it's easy, easy, but well, much easier than Brazil because you have to put down a wall and then build up a wall. So um, this is something that we could copy. We should copy. It's uh, because it's much more practical. It's much better, much better. For sure. Yeah, and this house actually is not, most of it is not drywall. This this room is, and the new room upstairs, but it's the old lath and plaster. Um, I can't even explain it, but it's um, it's not good. <laughs> so it's hard to work with if it cracks. Yeah, so. But it's just because it's old. Cool. Well, um, thanks for showing us your house, Mom. Yeah, it was fun. And I hope when you come down here now, you'll feel more more at home because you've already seen my apartment. So it yes, be a I, shock to you. Can't wait. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well then, um, everybody else, thanks for watching, and um, see you all next week here on Ryan and Rodrigo, and later. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.